Say paper. Good morning. Good morning. Can you wave? Wave. Are you ready? There is a paper. Everybody should have paper and pencil and an eraser. Rachel, you might want to sit over at the floor just so you're not backwards. Yeah, this is you guys. So I have Mr. Murtis's class with you today. Yes. And they are ready to draw. They have their supplies. Draw with me. So before we get started, who am I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And what do I what do I write and illustrate? Critican. 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 And critican means a uh, creature. Creature. Animal. Animal. Family. 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 Okay, so what I've done is I went to your local shelter and I took pictures of three dogs. I'm going to show you those dogs and we're going to take a vote about which one we'd like to draw, okay? Then we'll tell a story from that dog's perspective with a goal of getting that dog adopted. Does that sound? And then, Miss Jenna, I thought since they're fifth graders, I yeah, thought we would do more of a brainstorming of the story writing and then have them write um, probably like after we go off air with you. And then I can take snapshots of their finished stories. Ooh, that would be good. So everybody will do their own story. Right. Because I think I with the, the younger kids that we worked with last year, I think guiding them through the whole story is really good. But I think with fifth graders, I think if we brainstorm some things that they need to have in their story and then let them go crazy with it, I think their stories will be really awesome. How many of you guys want to go crazy with your story? Well, you're a good job, guys. I think, and Ms. Predator thinks that you guys want to go crazy. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do, and it may take a second here, is I'm going to share my screen with you. So you tell me when you can see the dogs, okay? Actually, when you can see one of the dogs, you'll see one of the dogs to start. So here we go. Sharing my screen now. Tell me when you see the dog. Uh, don't, don't, don't say no. Just yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who can read me the dog's name? Ellie. 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 What kind of dog do you think Ellie is? Chihuahua. Yeah, I think Ellie's a Chihuahua too. Okay, so that's our first choice. Can you remember Ellie? Yeah. Okay, and we're going to go to the second one. Oh. Bo! Yeah, that's Bo. What kind of dog is Bo? A dog. A beagle. A beagle. Miss Jenna, we're having a little difficulty on our side. It's kind of showing us a picture and then it's like flashing, like blinking. Yeah. And that's it does that sometimes. It is because the tablet interacts with their server. Oh, okay. We actually got three servers involved. I'm really sorry. That's okay. Okay, everybody remember Bo? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here's the third one. Sherlock. This is Sherlock. And what kind of dog do you think Sherlock is? Maybe a Shih Tzu. Maybe what else? Sherlock. Do you think that Sherlock is a purebred dog? A fluffy. It's a fluffy dog. <laughs> yeah, Sherlock is probably a mixed dog, and um, according to the shelter, it's Shih Tzu and Poodle and something else. They're not sure. Okay, so we're going to vote now to decide which dog we want to draw. All right. So remember Sherlock. Everybody who wants. To, so I'm going to go back to the first dog. Everybody who wants to draw Ellie, raise their hand. You can only vote once. All right, I've got two votes for Ellie. Okay. And how about both? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven votes for Bo. Ah, seven for Bo. Okay. And Sherlock. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and I've got some double votes. But I think Sherlock is our winner. Yay, yeah. hey, Sherlock! I agree. Sherlock is adorable. So, all right. So let's. Um, Okay, so let's move Sherlock up here. Everybody got your paper and pencil? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sherlock. All right, so let me get rid of these guys so we don't have to deal with them anymore. Okay. I know, Ellie's cute, but we need to draw Sherlock. Okay, so can you guys see my, I'm going to, um, it's really hard to squiggle. It's really hard to to yeah. see, Jenna, because it keeps flashing like it's almost strobing. That bad? It's that bad. Wow. Um, I'm not sure what, what we should do. Um, what if you close down that screen and then open it back up? Would that work, or is that? Let me not? try. Let me try. All right. So I'm stopping screen sharing. Here I am. Okay. So you're not strobing at all. You're perfect. Yeah, I think it's. I know the tablet interfaces with their their server in order to. Uh, anyway, it, it's the drawing program. So let me try again. Is that a, is you guys on a new server? Because we didn't have that problem last year. I know. I don't know why. Okay. I, I really don't. Some uh, one other class complained about that, and I don't know what it is. So okay. Or what to do even because if I don't draw with you, then what do I do? How's that? Uh, we're still seeing you. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's you. Uh, well, no, there it goes no. again. It's strobing again, huh? Hmm. I'll tell you what. Let me um, close it. But she doesn't draw with a pencil. She draws with her computer. She draws with a stylus on a tablet. So she's not drawing like on a piece of paper. We're not watching her draw on a piece of paper like on an elmo. She has a special oh. tablet that she draws with. Oh, and then yeah. So let me see if I can get, let me try again and see if maybe establishing a new connection with their server is better. Okay. What we could do is I can draw on my paper and then I can show you. It won't be quite as effective, but it would yeah, also work. But it might be better so that we're not like, I mean. Yeah, it's, and I want you guys going crazy. It's really bad on our end. <laughs> that would drive me nuts. Yeah. All right, let's try this. Oops, come on, come on. Be nice computer. No, we still got the connection. Still got it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this program. And I'm going to open Word, where I do have a picture of Sherlock. And I'm going to try sharing this. And so this, if, if we still have the problem, then it means it's something about our connection, but I don't think so. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to try to share again. Sorry, guys. That's okay. Some, sometimes technology does that, and we just have to improvise and go with the flow. I know. <laughs> it's true. All right, we see that. Yeah, that's not flashing. That's not flashing. Well, that's really a good sign. So, um, hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think what the best way. Um, because I want you guys to be able to see Sherlock, so we can, um, uh, if I send you the file of Sherlock, can yeah. you put it up somewhere or? Yeah, I could print it and then stick it up next to the cardboard. Okay, maybe that's the thing to do. Okay. Save okay. as. Um. Sorry, guys. Sherlock. Come on. Think for me. I'm going to stop sharing my computers. I'm happy. It's really annoying. Uh, I see you guys. <laughs> 
I don't know what we're going to do, Aaron. We're going to have to figure out a different way to do these things if this is going to be cranky for us. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Opening Gmail. Catch file. Picture. Uh, okay. Can you t can you read your email address to me? Yeah. Oh, wait, Aaron Predator, Maybe I've got it. No. What's the email? Uh, either the butterfly 820 at gmail or the reader email at the I can't hear you. Oh, sorry. You can use the um the butterfly eight b u t t e r f l i eight twenty at gmail dot com. Okay. Okay. I just sent it. And I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to get my pencil and paper, and then I'm going to draw and then show you what I draw on my paper, all right? It'll be a little slower, but we can still do it. Let me get my pencil. The only problem with this is you're not going to be able to see me draw the line, so I'll just have to explain it to you with words, okay? Okay. Do you have Sherlock there? Um, actually, it didn't come through to the email. Of course it didn't. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so B U T T E R F L I eight two zero at gmail dot com. Okay. Maybe yeah, I typed it wrong. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Entirely possible. We got it. Oh, you do? We got it now. Okay, good. Yay. So you guys, while we're waiting for her to print, let's start with the nose, okay? Because the nose is always the same in all dogs, okay? Got your paper? Yep. Yeah. All right. So in the middle of your paper, you're going to draw an upside-down triangle. Upside-down triangle with rounded edges. So let me, I'll draw it and show you, then you try it, okay? Kind of like around top there. And then an upside down triangle, so it's going to come down to a point like that. Okay? In the middle? In the middle. Okay, can you see my triangle? See her triangle? That's for the nose. Like That's the nose. It should be right in the middle of your page. You have plenty of extra room to draw, okay? <laughs> You know, this is good practice for them, Jenna, because they have to follow your oral directions. This is very yeah. good for our ESL learners, too. And I, I, I have Sherlock <laughs> out of the lemons. <laughs> okay, so now, you guys, if, if we imagine a dog's face, okay, there's a little line from the tip of the nose down right here. Okay? You see me where I'm, I'm looking? So watch this. We're just going to draw a straight line down. This is the easiest part of all. Okay. Right? Just like that. You know what helps, Jenna, is I've done this with you about five or six times, so I kind of can anticipate yes. what's very good. <laughs> okay, so now, um, if you have a dog's face... Oh, you've got the picture. Excellent. Yes, so if, yes. we look at, if we look at Sherlock's face, what do we call the sides of the face like this? They're the kind of look, on chalk. They almost look like a mustache. What do we call this part of the dog? Beard. Not quite the cheeks. Not quite a beard. What is this right here? It starts with an M. 
And it rhymes with puzzle. Wow. What? What? Muzzle. Muzzle. Yay. Okay. Who knows how to spell muzzle? Somebody spell it for me. M U Z U E E. M U E E. M U Z Z. M U Z Z. Z Z. Then what? L E. Is this right? Yep. Yep. Yay. Okay. So we're, now we're going to draw the dog's muzzle. I want you to put your pencil next to the left-hand side of the nose. So put your pencil here. Right here. Okay, right here. Okay. And we're going to go out and around and then down. But because this dog has kind of a beard, we want to go a little bit farther. Okay, so I'll draw one side, and then I'll show you before you draw, all right? Go out. Around, around. Now I'll show you a trick. I'll show you guys a trick because it'll it'll um this way you can show the beard a little bit. Alright. See oh look what she did. That's See what I did? I made the I made it a little longer and I made the bottom a little little uneven. But I connected the muzzle to the that line we just drew. Okay? Excellent. Now I'm going to do the other side. So you kind of just repeat that off the other side. You guys are doing great. Fire. look at Sherlock and what do we call this part of the face in the middle the bony part above the nose what do we call that anybody have any ideas what's this part called on your nose not your nostrils and nostrils down here up here sinus here like sinuses like that though you're getting closer sinuses are inside that's really good but on the outside it's called what starts with a B not particles are on a bridge. It's a bridge. 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 Yay! So who can spell bridge for me? Yes. Excellent. Is that right? Did I get it right? Yeah. Okay. Good. So I need help with my spelling. It's okay. So look at Sherlock. And we're going to draw, take our pencil, take a very light line. We're going to draw a little dotted line up as far as we think the top of his head is, okay? So I'll show you. Light line. Really? Because we're going to erase it. Later. We're trying to decide where the top of the head is. Barely see it. You've got a dotted line there, but you can barely see it. It's there. Yep. It's the center line of the, the face. So we're going to stop the dotted line at the top of the head. I like this. Stay on top? Yeah, this. on top like uh, this. Lighter. I can't see anything. We're going to erase it. How about this? Here, I'll make mine a little bit darker. Perfect. Okay, so this, these are like what I call guidelines. They're guidelines. Wait, yes, no. Just a dotted line. Very light line. Well, you can be dotted or just like what you did. You're perfect. Because we'll erase it after we're done. So let's look at Sherlock again. And now we're going to do the top of Sherlock's head. Some dogs have completely flat heads. Does Sherlock have a completely flat head? No. no. Does he have a pointy head? No. So Sherlock's head goes like this. It goes kind of like a wave. It's yeah, not a big wave. Like up and down. A little and bit up. of a wave. So what we're going to do is we're going to 
We're going to make a wave for the top of his head. Okay, look at our picture. See the wave? See how it goes up and down and up like that? And Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. Good job. Oh, now I know that, that um, Sherlock has really fuzzy head, so we'll fix that at the end too. We'll add all the fuzzy furry stuff at the end. But let's just get the shape at first, okay? Alright, now I'm gonna ask Ms. Predator to help me. Because to get the sides of Sherlock's face, you have to get the sense of an angle. Is Sherlock's face is not straight on the side. It goes at an angle. See where I'm pointing? See how it's angled? It's not round. It's angled. So I'll show you a little with my drawing. But it's important for you to see the angle when you draw so that you can get the... Okay, so can you see how I have the side of the head going out? See, like this? Angled just like her ears are here in the picture. Yeah, if you, if you can show on the picture, that'll help. Yeah. Okay, that's the side, like right here. Now, everybody got that? Yep. Okay, good. Now we have to connect the side back down to the muzzle. So you'll notice, you'll notice that the line comes back in. She's trying to give the next direction. Yes, you guys are doing great. Okay, so take a look at this. See how it went out at first, but then it comes back in and connects to the muzzle. Whoops, connects yeah. to the muzzle. Down to the muzzle. You kind of round it and then come back down. And then round it and come back down. Yes, yeah, just like that. That makes sense? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, this is the time when I have you remind you guys that this is the first time you've drawn a dog, this dog, and so you're not going to be perfect and nobody cares. This is just for fun. Just do the best you can and, we'll, and have fun, okay? Because we can get perfect later. <laughs> They're very good for having to improvise today. They're doing a great job. Yeah, no, I, I'm i really proud of them. <laughs> Okay, are we ready for the next Okay, so shall we do the eyes or the ears next? ears, they're kind of floppy and fuzzy. So we want to start at the top of the head. I'll show you in a second, right here. I'm going to start right here. That's how we know where to start. Put your pencil there, okay? Then we're going to go out a little bit and we're going to go down and follow the side of, of Sherlock's face. Let me draw it and show you. Now, this is where we get to have fun with the ears because we can make the edges really, really hairy. Okay. See how she goes out and she goes to go down. Side of the face. And then I made the, uh, the bottom of the ear kind of uneven to make it look like fur. Can you go over there just a little bit darker? Like, we can see the muzzle and the nose. Really dark, but the ear is really light. Yeah, it's because I used a pencil instead of my pen. Ah, oh, that's better. See how I made it kind of uneven to make it look like it's hairy? Fuzzy. Fuzzy hair. Very good. Oh, I love these ears, you guys. Those are great. So should we try the other side? Let's try the other side. 
to make an ugly thing. We are all are new at this. So this is your first time and you guys are being brave and you guys are trying your best. Mrs. Peter has done this like six times before. I have lots of practice. I kind of know what's coming next. I have done this before. But this is your first time and you guys are doing you guys are doing great. Especially since I can't show you with my regular tablet. I'm sorry. So do the other side, but make it a, a, uneven in a little bit different way, so you look so it looks really hairy. Let's see. These are great ears, you guys. Come on, Ray, you're doing great. You are doing great. I promise. I love it. <laughs> Shall we talk about eyes? <laughs> Let's talk about eyes, because eyes are so much fun. And you guys will have a choice. So there are just circle eyes. There are just circle eyes like this. That's one choice. There are oval eyes, kind of like this. There are upside down smile eyes like this. And then there are what I call um, almond eyes or cat eyes. They kind of look like eggs too. All right, so I think if we look at Sherlock, what kind of eyes does Sherlock have? Look at Sherlock's eyes. Circle. Circle. Let's try. Let's try giving Sherlock some some circular eyes. But before we do that, what is this part right here? Can you see that? What is that? This part right here. Eyebrows. Eyebrows. Mm. Eyebrows. It's right above the nose. Oh, like right here. Yeah, I don't know that there's a, an official name, but but it's what? Kind of like furry, scruffy, scruffy furry, kind of. Scruffy furry something, but it's in front of his, his eyes a little bit. So let's draw that in a little bit, okay? We're going to draw that kind of scruffy fur that's coming off of Sherlock's nose first. First. So we know where to put the eyes. So let me show you. I'll draw it. You just make it like look really uneven, like that. Oh, oh. That'll help us know where to put the eyes, okay? Good. Now, before we do the eyes, and to help us do the eyes, we're going to go back. Do you still have your central line, that little dotted line in the middle? See that dotted line? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, now, we're going to start above the, above the scratchy, the hairy part, and watch, we're going to go up and over like an eyebrow. Just do this. And that'll give us a guideline for the eyeballs, okay? And then we're going to do the other side. So let's do the other side. So now we have, and you notice I made the lines kind of uneven to make them look really hairy and fuzzy. <laughs> All right, now, just above this part here, all the hairy part, we're going to draw the circle eyes, all right? You might want to try doing them really lightly first to see if you like it. Because you could make them really big, you could make them really small. I'm going to try just a circle and let's see what happens. I don't want to make it in pan or else I won't be able to it if I don't like it. Okay, here's mine. Can you see okay? Oh, <laughs> That's a circle. Now, maybe I want to try, maybe I'll try an oval just to see how that looks. Let me try that. So I can erase. 
because I did it in pencil. And I'm going to do an oval. Let me show you a second here. I did an oval here. What do you think of that one? What do you think of the oval on the left? That's kind of fun, huh? It's up to you guys. You guys choose, okay? Okay, so what do we call what do we call the colored part of the eye? The uh, pupil. 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 And the pupil is the thing that shows us where Sherlock is looking. So Sherlock could look up. For example, like this. Sherlock could look up. Sherlock could look to the side, right? Where you put your pupil will show where Sherlock is looking. Or you could even make Sherlock have cross eyes if you want. <laughs> I think I'm going to give Sherlock oval eyes and have him looking to the left. Oh, very cute. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of cute, isn't he? I'm liking Sherlock. Okay, now, you guys did everything in pencil, right? Yeah. So, how about if we give Sherlock some hair at the top of his head, make him look more fuzzy, okay? Okay. So, you just... Go back and erase the line a little bit, and then you draw some hair, which is uneven lines. And boy, Sherlock is missing something. What is it? We're just drawing the head, so we're missing, what is this here? Chin. Chin, yeah. I think we better give him a chin, for goodness sakes. And Sherlock has a great chin because he has a lot of hair, so we need to give him a little hairy, hairy chin. So, almost looks like he has a beard, huh? <laughs> All right, so now let's do some artistic cleanup here. You want to erase that center line so nobody can see it anymore. And I'll tell you what, let's let's color in the uh, the pupils. Color in the pupils. Make them black. I can hardly wait to see your dog. look shiny and the nose look bright. I know. What do you think 
Maybe an arch, dark, dark light. What do you think? Oh, Jocelyn's got an idea. She says you kind of like wet down your finger and kind of rub your finger over it. But I know you know a different trick too, Jenna, don't you? Yeah, that's a good idea. I think it would make your paper rip, though. That's the only thing I would say. Don't do it with paper that isn't really strong. Um, you can do two things. And the one we're going to do today is we're going to take our eraser and we're going to erase just a little bit of the eye and a little bit of the nose. It makes it look shiny. The great thing about art is it should always be yours, nobody else's. Everybody should be different. I want to put a gray. <laughs> Very cool. I'm Alright, I don't want you to start coloring your dogs just yet. Don't color just yet. Don't color just yet. Okay, so now I'm going to give Oh, we need to give our dog a neck. And I'm going to put something around the neck. Can anybody guess what that is? Oh. Yeah. Okay, so give, your, give Sherlock a neck and a collar. What do we put on the collar and why? His name. Well, what do we put the name on? But not the color. There's a I mean, hang something from the collar. What is it? A tag. Yep, it's a tag. And what do we put on the tag? What do we put on? It just lines up. His name, address, phone number. Yes, good. So Sherlock, and then address and phone number. I ran out of room at the bottom. <laughs> Wow. Didn't think you know what does that tag do? What does it let us do? What we call it for You didn't hear her question. What was your question again? Why do we use the tag? What does that tag do with the name and the address and the phone number? Why do we use it? Why do we use it really? So you can give it in case it gets lost. So somebody can call you or do, or bring your dog home, right? Right. I lost our dog when we were little, and somebody found her and brought her home. It was great. Okay, so it, Aaron, if you wouldn't mind, I would love to see everybody's dog and take a picture. Yep, absolutely. All right. Let me see. What? I'd love to see. Table three, come on up. I'm going to help you get into the picture so that Miss Jenna can see your art. Yep. And you hold on, I'm going to take a picture. Okay. You're going to come on up and get nice and close. There you go. Okay. Now it's. Okay. There. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's taking the camera a little while to resolve it. Okay. So, wait. There. That is a great dog. I love it. You did a great job. Back up a little bit. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. You'll all get a turn. You guys did such a great job. Look at this. This dog reminds me of our dog. That's great. Almost like a cockroach. Let me know when you're done with my pack of dogs. I will. Stop. Perfect. What a great dog. Your dog looks a little sleepy, honey. <laughs> Aww. That is adorable. Everyone's going to get a turn, I promise. Yes. Back up a little bit. All I can see is the nose there. Oh, stop. Ooh, I like that you chose the um, upside down uh, smile eyes. They're great. Okay, thank you. I just need to be done by eleven. Aww. Where's your dog looking? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> you know, when Miss Jenna asks you a question, you should answer. Yeah, it's true. Oh, good job. 
What do you say? A really good job on the tag, too. My gosh. <laughs> Your dog looks like he's a little mad. He's mad? <laughs> What's he mad about? You don't know. He doesn't you have know. a fur on your head yet. He doesn't get Very cute. Up a little higher, sweetie. There you go. Ooh, I like that. Look how well he captured the, the mustache. He captured the mustache really well. Oh, this is so cute. What's he looking at, Andre? What's he looking at? It looks like he's looking up. A bird. A bird? A plane. It's Superman. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That is a really great dog. Don't move it so I can take a picture. Fantastic. Aww. I like that. Good job. Good job, you guys. Oh, can you scoot it over this way just a little bit? Stop. <laughs> that dog is so cute. All right, we're going to have to go in a little closer since you there. did. Perfect. Look at the eyes. I love the eyes. Looks like he's focusing. That's right. She'll unfreeze in just a minute. I know. I think we might not have a very good connection. I know because your picture, we still hear you, but the picture is frozen on our screen now. Well, let me see if I can change it. Oh, wow. You did a great job. Are you still working on the eyes? You still working on the eyes? Yep. yep. Did everybody get a turn to come up and show your picture? Yeah. I have to show my picture, too. Yes, please. Miss Erin draws them every time, and she gets better and better every time. <laughs> it's okay. Am I still frozen? Yes. Um, well, now we see you with your Dr. Seuss hat. There you are. Now you're not frozen. Okay. Well done. Well done, especially since I had so much trouble. You guys followed directions perfectly. They did a great job. They really I think did. What you do is kind of talk about what they need to write in their paragraph about what, and then once we brainstorm, then we'll probably go off air and I'll let them work on their stories and color, and then okay. I will take pictures of the final product. Sounds perfect. Are you are you at a blackboard where you can type or write or? Uh, I have um, some paper that I okay, can. Okay, perfect. All right. So first, to start, you guys, I want you to turn your papers upside down on the, on the desk. Put your hands on top of the paper. Get up straight. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Deep breath. Close your eyes. Deep breath. And when you exhale, feel like you're relaxing. Take another deep breath. Deep breath. And relax. You know, I want you to imagine that you are Sherlock. You're this Sherlock. cute, white, fuzzy little dog with a mustache and floppy ears and a tail that wags a lot. And for most of your life, you've been living with your family. Okay? But yesterday, your family decided they couldn't take care of you anymore, and they took you to the shelter. And in the shelter, there are many, 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 many dogs that you don't know, and they're all barking a lot. You like other dogs, but they're barking and barking and barking. And there are a lot of people you don't know, so there are a lot of strange smells, a lot of barking, and a lot of dogs are a little bit scared. How do you think you would feel if you were Sherlock? How do you think you might feel? Raise your hand. How, how are we feeling? Scared. 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 How would you feel about your family leaving you at the shelter? So we got that. Worried. 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 Like, what's going to happen to me? Yeah. What else? Nervous. Nervous. So. It's really important when we write our stories to share the dog's feelings. But we want to think about what we tell people that will help get the dog adopted. So what kind of adjectives can we use to describe Sherlock when we write Sherlock's story? For example, 
Hi, I'm a happy. Um, what kind of adjectives can we use? Playful. Great. So Ms. Pratt is going to write down some adjectives we can use, but you guys will make your own sentences, okay? Playful. What else do we think we see about Sherlock? Because we saw him in the room. You're going to pretend when you guys start writing, you're pretending that you're Sherlock, and you're writing your story to all the families that are walking through the shelter. What are you going to say to those families so that they'll go, Oh, oh Sherlock, you're so like a perfect dog. I'm going to take you home with me today. What are you going to tell about yourself as the dog Sherlock? Fun. Ooh, fun. Yes. But what do you so I want you to think about size, too, because if I have a small apartment, do I want a Great Dane? What's, what, we have to talk about the size. What size is Sherlock? <laughs> small. They want small dog. So some, some people might want a small dog. If they have an apartment, they can't get, like, a Great Dane or a Bull Mastiff. But Sherlock is not a big dog. Sherlock is a small dog. Sherlock probably only weighs maybe 10 or 12 pounds. From the size of little guy. It's a big dog. So, what mm -hmm. else can we tell the families that are walking by? I'm playful, I'm fun, I'm helpful. What I'm small, say? so I fit in your house. I'm what? I care. I care. Okay. And remember how we talked about behavior and training, how that was important? So, what kinds of things can we tell about ourselves that owners would want to know? Like, are we potty trained? Yeah? What? Oh, I do tricks? Okay. Oh, that's good. I know tricks. How about I chew, I'll chew all your shoes? Are we going to say that the dog chews everyone's shoes? No. What are we going to say? Again, train. I don't chew everything. I don't chew. What about um, Sherlock's health? And age. Is Sherlock an old dog or a new dog? Old. I'm an older dog. Okay. An older dog, okay. What about health? Is healthy? healthy? Oh. I'm an older dog, but I'm very healthy. That's probably really important because you don't want to bring a sick dog home, right? So I'm I'm an older dog, but I'm healthy. What else might we say? What, what else? What, if we're Sherlock and we're looking for a family, what do we want to tell this family? Like, what's going to help us get adopted? Yeah. What kind of great things do you want to say about Sherlock? I, I want to make you happy. Yes. I want to make you happy. What about cats and other dogs and kids? I'm a good friend, oh, I'm I'm a good good friend to other dogs and kids. I like kids. I like kids. I like kids. That's good. What about cats? Does this dog like cats? Oh. No. <laughs> Some dogs do, but this dog doesn't, huh? Okay, I don't like cats. So that's important. Sherlock needs a home with no cats. What about Sherlock being a boy or a girl? Is that important? Sure. Do we want Sherlock to be a boy or a girl? Girl! Oh, I suppose that you could decide that when you're writing your own story, but you should probably put that in your paragraph somewhere. Yep. All right. Okay, that, now the last thing that's kind of important is for Sherlock to say what he or she will do if, if you take him home. How so if you take me home, what? If you bring me home, I will run away. I'll be excited. I'll be happy. I'll be the fun kind of guy. I'll be nice. Yeah, so think about think about that last thing. If you take me home, I will you want to end your paragraph with that. Okay? How does that sound? We got enough? 
I won't show you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll be the best dog ever. Yes. All right, so we have a, a really good list of adjectives. Yes, I have a great list. I'll read them back to you. Okay. So, and Julian, these are just ideas. These are ideas to get your brain going about what you're going to write. So you don't have to pick exactly what's on the list. If you want to use the list because you're not quite sure what to write about, use the list. If you have other ideas going in your head, use those ideas. But we're going to have some feelings. Maybe we're sad, scared, confused, worried, or nervous. Things that are going to help us get adopted. Some adjectives are we're playful, we're fun, we're helpful, we're small, we care. I do tricks, I don't chew. I'm an older dog but very healthy. I want to make you as my owner happy. I like kids, I don't like cats. Oh. And this is our ending. If you take me home, I'll sit in your lap, or I'll be excited, or I'll be happy, I'll be nice, I won't chew, or I'll be the best dog ever. <laughs> Those are all really good ideas. Can I ask you guys, how many of you have a dog? How many of you have a dog? So when you think about writing this, think about your dog too, because they're the best examples we can ever have. If you've met a real dog, that will help you when you write your story, OK? OK. All right. So I'm really looking forward to reading your stories. All right. Can we all say thank you to Miss Jenna? Thank you. And I'll see you again soon, okay? Yep, we'll see you soon. Thank you, Karen. Bye. Bye. Bye, Jenna. Thank Bye, you. Bye. I'm sorry. <laughs> James says goodbye, too. Okay. Right. Bye, Dave. Bye. Bye.